I know I just saw it. I know I just saw it. It's right over there. Right over there. I know it is. Just past this tall grass. All right, you two. Lily, Tate, you guys need to stay here and be good. Tate, actually, I'm going to need to borrow your backpack. All right, hang on, boy. All right, open up this. And then let's see. Oh, why don't we have more raw fish, Tate? Normally, you're totally drowning with them. Why? Why, buddy? Dang it. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna manage this, all right? All right, Tate, take that, please. You two stay here because I spied a cat, a big cat kitten, you guys. Oh my gosh! So Lily, Tate, and I are just out on a resource gathering mission, and all. <gasps> there was. Did you see the kitten? Did you see it? Okay. Where there's a kitten, there's usually a mama. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I think we can do this. If I remember correctly. We just... Hi, baby! Oh, you eat the fish, huh? Do you want to eat another fish, or do you just need one fish? You took the medallion! Nope, you didn't take the medallion. You threw the medallion back at me. Here, have another fish. What about another fish? And... <gasps> we did it! We did it, you guys! Oh my gosh! Okay, temporarily named Cub. Welcome, Cub! Welcome to the family! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Why don't I have any leads? Who let me out of the house without leads? Lily, Tate, we have our own, we have our own little lion cub. I think it's a mountain lion cub too. Hi. I don't even have any like, <laughs> where's your mom? I don't want to have to, oh, wow. Hi, birdie. Hi, can I make you sit or anything? Will you follow me at least? Lily, Tate, adopt this wee one apparently it doesn't have a parent so we found a little orphaned mountain lion cub hi baby you're all ours now welcome to the family oh man you guys i was gonna like invite you in because i see that giant tree and i was gonna be like guys giant tree but finding a little cub like this is even more exciting oh my gosh so we have our very first big cat if i can just get it home and home might be a little bit far away please follow me do I need a lead on you? Do I need to build like a house and temporarily store our cat in it? Is it following? It's not following you guys. Oh no. Okay. Ne new plan. Build a box for our kitten. A temporary enclosure, mind you. I hate doing this. Why don't I have any- Why did I- <laughs> Why didn't you two let me leave the house without a lead? Why? Oh, does anyone have one? Did Tate have one in his backpack? I don't think he did. Tate, come here. No, Tate. No. That's not what I wanted, Tate. Okay, hold still. All right, let me... I know Lily's backpack is 100% empty. Tate, why did you let me leave the house without a backpack... Or without a... A lead? Oh, that's so embarrassing. Of course, just as we finally get... Come on, I need you to go in here. We'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? No, 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 no. We'll be back. I promise it'll be okay. I know that this is somewhat confusing. But we'll be right back, okay? Ah! <laughs> Alright. So, a big cat. Lily, Tate, come. We're going home. We're going home as fast as possible so we can get some leads. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe we don't have leads. But we have a big cat kitten. And it's tamed. Oh, this is so exciting. And this forest is really creepy. But that was totally unexpected, but yeah, welcome back to Zoo Crafting, guys. Um, I was just kind of doing some resource gathering, collecting mud balls, exciting, thrilling, things like that. Why are these trees floating? These trees freak me out. And the sun is gonna set, and there are things burning to death up there, and oh, that's because you're a fresh meteor. Oh man, I hope our cat doesn't get hit by a meteor. Oh man, I really want to hurry now. What? This is ridiculously close to home, too. We've just never, like, explored in that direction. But we have a big cat, you guys! A mountain lion, no less! Oh, you know what? That would actually be a beautiful exhibit to be nearby. I totally forgot about mountain lions for some reason. But that would be a beautiful- Oh, I'm sorry, chicken! I totally jumped right on you. Are you okay? Are you okay? I didn't hurt you, did I? Okay, I think the chicken's okay. What was that? Lily and Tate growled at something. Where the heck is this? I've never been over here. Apparently home is this way. 
All right, there's the marine research lab on the map. There's the water thingy. Where's home? Huh. Wow, there's a lot of livestock. I really need to... Is that a chocobo? <laughs> and a horse? Oh no. Oh no! I think that horse just died. Okay, Lily, Tate, please be very cautious right here. I will be um, covering that up pretty soon so that nobody else falls into it. Let's see, so there's home. Why am I so disoriented? I don't know, but we've got a big cat! A mountain lion cub! A mountain lion cub! Who would have thunk it? The oh, uh, no wonder I've slowed down. I'm hungry. And I just named it cub. You guys can toss name suggestions. I might pick them with a random generator just to make it fair. Or whatever just jumps out. If that's okay with you guys. You give me so many great suggestions. 60 plus names for the little cats. Now we've got a big kitten. A big cat kitten. Alright, let's see. I've got to have some... Well, I've got slime balls right here. Let's just go ahead and make, like, a ton of them. Thankfully, I've got some string. I've totally... Hello, Agent Katie. How are you? I need to get you some bookshelves in here, don't I? Okay, I'll be sure to do that soon. Let's see. How do you do... Is that how? There we go. Agent Katie, I will create a ball of yarn for you to play with later. All right, we're gonna have to let our poor kitten spend the night in there, in that little pit we dug for it. I really hope it's there in the morning. Oh yeah, and there's supposed to be like, um, oh, what's it called, like a whip to make the cat sit and stand and do things like that. I really don't wanna use a whip on a cat, but we should probably look it up. Uh, where's my too many items? No! Where'd my mod go? Why are you gone? Not enough items? Drat! Well, I'll have to figure out why that isn't working, Lily. We'll get there. Probably because I was helping my brother in his world. Oh man, and just look at how beautiful the tree is on our mini-map! I need to make a new window. I need to make a new window, like, right now. I can't see my tree. But we have a cat to get back to. Okay, we'll do this fast. Can't see my tree right here. Can't even see my tree right here, but I can see the trunk. That's better than nothing. There we go. Now I'm happy. All right, Agent Katie. I might have a kitten. I'm going to have to put in the house because I don't have anywhere else to put it, and it can have access to food and your training. Unless the kitten would eat Agent Katie. Okay, we're gonna have to build uh, a nice cat enclosure. For a mountain lion cat, but it can go with the deer, because deer and mountain lions, um, pumas, for those of you who aren't familiar with some of their other names, pumas, cougars, mountain lions, uh, catamounts, they have a whole bunch of names, mountain lions do. They're one of my favorite animals. They're really impressive, gorgeous, beautiful, large cats, native to, you know, the Americas, primarily North America, I think. Though some of their range, uh, more the panthers, but some of their range does extend all the way down to South America, Central America, I think. Have to double check. Always double check. Man, look at all these trees that used to be apple trees. Hey, Chocobo! Hi, Chocobo! Do, do, do. We have a cat! Like, that's kind of setting in. It's not really real yet. And those giant trees. Gotta go see what those giant trees are all about. Alright, Lily Tate. Remind me to build a bridge for this thing, too. We need to build bridges across the water. Oh. You know, and going on a little exploring mission was just what I needed, because then those surprises show up. Like this weird, weird forest here that makes me so nervous to be in every time. It just feels like something's gonna reach up and eat you. Is this an ominous forest? Yep, it's an ominous woods. Do you know I could at least collect these mushrooms? Because we're about to start... As weird as this seems to do right now, we are about to start, um building our crocodile exhibit. That was the plan. We can at least set our cat up with a temporary holding enclosure so it doesn't escape. Look at those mushrooms grow on top of those leaves. That makes me so excited. All right, let's go get our cat. I'm so excited. I hope our kitten is still there. Little cub. We're coming, little cub. I'm out of fish. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, we're right like where we were. Oh, and I'm hungry again. I don't have time for hunger. I've got a cat to, to get. Oh, this is so exciting! A mountain lion kitten! Okay. 
You're still here. You're still here. I'm so glad. Okay, hang on. You've gotten bigger. I swear you've gotten bigger. Are you growing already? All right, I'm going to cut your way out. Hi. You want to come with us? You want to come with us? Maybe? Come on. <gasps> there we go. All right. Oh my gosh, you have gotten bigger. You're growing. You're a growing cub, huh? All right, I think we've got a good hold of this mountain lion cub now. We've got plenty of leads. Do you wanna do you wanna explore a little bit? I'm gonna look around and see. We'll bring him with us or her. I'm getting a, a her sort of vibe from this one. But we'll bring her with us as we kind of explore down here very carefully. What is this? This is like perfect color, whatever it is. Hardened sand? That that is interesting. There's some elephants too. And there's a bunch of something over there. Alright, Cub. Let's check out this giant tree. Big trees and big cats. It was a very exciting, very exciting moment for me. Hmm, okay, and let's start shoving some stuff. Thankfully, we found more limestone, too. We were getting pretty tight on that stuff as well. Alright, let's get those in there. Well, actually, let's keep... <gasps> I had leads in my backpack the whole time! Ugh. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. <gasps> I'm really slipping! Come back, cat! Okay. Lily and Tate are figuring it out. We're just gonna kind of peek at this jungle and then take our cat back. There's a raccoon. You better watch out. I've got a hungry cat with me, raccoon. How the heck are we supposed to walk this to check our jungle? Good thing mountain lions can kind of climb. Look at that! It's just this big jungle tree out in the middle of nowhere. You're such a weird tree! Such a weird tree, doing weird tree things. Can we can we kind of come climb down a little bit, some somewhat safely? Did it break? Tell me it didn't break. I think it broke. Dang it! Where's my mountain lion cat? All right, you know what? I think we're gonna have to explore the tree after we get our cat home. Hang in there. Nope, nope. Come back, you. Oh no, you don't. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Trying to wave bread in your face. That's not going to do anything. Alright, you know how we're going to do this? Let's climb down carefully. Come on, come with me. Oh, that wasn't so careful. Alright, come on. We're going to swim home. That should make it easy. And there's a whole desert over here we haven't even checked out. Oh, man. I love exploring. I love exploring. And there's so many biomes we haven't found yet. Do you guys realize that there are over 80 biomes in the Biomes of Plenty mod? And we've barely touched on any of them, I feel. And some of these would be very useful. I wonder, does this grass stay the same color? Is it like ominous grass? Oi! Come back here, grass. Do I still have my cat? I've still got my cat. Good. Tate, did you give me any fish? Oh, Tate gave me a fish. Good boy. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that either. Ah, no, it's just normal colored grass. That's okay. Oh, I hear something. And my dogs are growling. Let's see. Well, we're just gonna work through here. Don't mind us, everyone. Okay, still got my big cat. This is very exciting. I guess we're just gonna have to build a temporary holding pen. But we have our first cat. Kittens are really hard to find in this mod, actually. Because uh, you can't find just any big cat. The big cats are not tameable. Only the kittens are tameable. I'm a little nervous to have it growling behind me and growing so fast. It, it's, it's a little disconcerting. I think it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Oh, look at it. Watch the little dragonfly. Or Lily and Tate. Let's go ahead and, and safely, for the safety of everyone involved, cat, people, dogs. Oh, I'm sorry. I know we had to swim through the water. I'm sorry. I can get these mushrooms while we're over here. I would really love to grow mushrooms. I love eating mushrooms, actually. And I can make infinite mushroom stew, thanks to my mushrooms. There's that chocobo again. We have a cat, a mountain lion cat. So yeah, this is actually pretty sweet. Still have our, <laughs> it's jumping when we jump. I better stop that. Doing good? Okay. Okay, that's a giant pit, giant hole in the ground. Definitely don't want you going down that, please. Let's see. 
Oh, it looks like a meteor fell over there. We'll have to check that out, too. Good grief. I just can't get, like, the one thing I set up. Where are Lily and Tate? Did you eat Lily and Tate? Uh, that makes me nervous. I think that they just got stuck in the ominous woods. First things first, let's stick our cat in a nice little quarantine spot. So it doesn't escape. The sheep are, like, bawling in horror. They're like, run! Big cat! But yes, so to tame a big cat, you have to find it as a kitten first. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, good, it just teleported to me. Oh, dang it, I destroyed that grass. I wanted to pick it up. Hmm, should I put it over here for now? Let's see, there's our snake exhibit. And the plan... I don't know quite where we're going to build our... You know, I think down here would actually be okay for plotting out where we're potentially going to put you anyway. Um, you're making me a little nervous <laughs> with the jumping and the, and the hungry look in your eyes. So let me see. Let's just cut this down. How are we going to make a good temporary storage space for you? I always want to do right by my animals, but this is very short notice, you know. Which is to bear in mind that maybe this is a sign that we need to hurry and build, like, temporary holding zones. Alright, let's grab these. And then, I don't think a fence is really going to hold you in. But it's all I got right now. Let's start by throwing a fence down and attaching your lead to it. So there's that. Poor little one. What am I going to do with you? I kind of just want to make a, a nice sunken exhibit and block it off. Oh, this is this is reprioritizing everything, that's for sure. What am I going to do with a mountain lion, baby? Unexpected, unexpected mountain lion, baby, mountain lion orphan. That's okay, you know, that's what happens when you run across an orphan. And that's what's happened with me in real life when I run across orphan animals. Everything changes. You may have had plans for that day, and guess what? They're gone. Because you have to, like, if it's a baby bunny, now you have to go get the heater and make sure you have all of the probiotics and the cat formula, because baby bunnies actually will use cat formula. And you have to add, like, uh, cream in so the fat content is higher because baby bunnies need very, very high fat content for their high metabolism. Oh my goodness, but you see there's a difference between a baby bunny and a baby, a baby cougar. One looks very hungry when it looks at me and the other doesn't. And I'm not talking Monty Python bunnies. <laughs> Alright, and let's get some torches up here and let's close this off actually. Well, I still have a chance. Do I have a bed? Look, I'm not going to abandon an orphan baby. So I'm just going to sleep next to you. I, I know you didn't eat Lillian Tate. You you can't have eaten Lillian Tate, right? I know you didn't. I, I, I'm just worrying for nothing, right? Right? Okay, let's go ahead and dig this out. Oh my goodness. This isn't going to be the best enclosure, and I'm sorry. It's all I've got. It's all I've got. Poor little orphan. Oh my gosh. Orphan baby animal readjusting my entire schedule. I'm supposed to be on track to doing stuff like, like going to the nether and collecting more limestone so I can finish a reptile house, I'll have you know. And deer were supposed to be next, but I guess we can make your exhibit next. This is not its exhibit, by the way. This is a very small temporary holding pin that I'm putting down. Alright, let's make it two more deep. Mm, two more deep makes it makes it too too rough, I think. I think it'll be okay just being yeah, one more deep. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put a fence up around it, plant a tree in here. Uh, we'll make it a little cave even. You know me, guys. I can't just I can't just throw a baby in here and be like, "All right, good luck." I made you a pit in the ground. No. No, 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 no. That's not my style. 
But we're not going to spend too long organizing this because it, it kind of is just supposed to be a pit in the ground to temporarily hold it. All right, what are we going to name you, huh? And these cannot actually breed. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for more if we want this guy to have a family and have some social communication, social connection with other other cougars. I'm not sure. They aren't really like lions. Um, you know, they're not really like lions and tigers and all those guys. They are tigers. What am I saying? They're not really like lions where they have like huge social groups. But no animal likes being completely alone. You know what I mean? So if we happen to stumble upon another one, I'm pretty sure it'll tolerate having a mate. And if I look up the research and the research says, heck no, it wouldn't. What was that? It was a donkey, apparently. I heard the donkey just then. I'm a little nervous to be in here with you. But we're gonna make this okay. Because you're just a baby. And you are welcome in a new home. Hi. Alright, now we're going to make it like a little cave. But we have to be careful that it can't like climb into the cave. So the cave's gonna have to go straight down like this, even though it's not very attractive. I think, yeah, as long as we don't make it so it can climb out, everything should be okay. <laughs> so there's your temporary little cave. It's not much, I apologize. Whoops. Definitely don't want to lose that. Um. Well, hang on a second. I'll get you loose. So you can stop jumping now if you if you would like. It's okay. And I'm just gonna kinda do this. And turn around to do this. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there's the donkey that got stuck. Donkey? For your own good. Chicken, for your own good. I highly recommend that both of you stay away from this zone. I'm just saying. Things may not turn out the way you hope them to. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and get the fencing down. And then jump in there in just a second. Woo! But there we go. <laughs> So orphan baby, orphan baby mountain lion. Oh no. Can I save the life of the donkey? And the chicken. Okay, donkey. Come on, donkey. You really want out of there, Mr. Donkey. I can't get the donkey. Oh dear. That wasn't smart! What were you thinking? Chicken! Donkey! Come with me, both of you! And don't let my cat out! Come on! Alright, we got one at least. There we go. Save that one. Where's the chicken? Chicken, are you stupid? Chicken, you're being bird-brained. And that's normally a compliment from me. Because birds are super smart. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You had to lay an egg at its feet? What are you doing, like taunting it? Get up here. Get up here. You feathered, you feathered nuisance. You're totally... <laughs> Do you realize what you want to try to be friends with? Is this the start of an unconventional friendship? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay. Okay. You broke it three times. I take it that you want to hang out with the mountain lion in its exhibit. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, who knows? Maybe it can be one of those friendships that you never expected. As the lion, like, growls hungrily. I don't think it's going to work out, chicken. But you've made your choice. You have made your choice in life. Um... I wish my mountain lion would stop jumping. I wish I knew it was doing that. I might need to make it. Oh, see, now I think the reality has set in. That's better. 
All right, good. Got all those up. All right. Almost there. Thank you guys so much for your patience. So now we have a new baby mountain lion in a temporary enclosure. Things are really starting. I need to get a proper layout built for this zoo. Things are really starting to pick up, which is a good thing because we've been working on the same exhibit for ages. Time to move on. Also, I need to go get Lily and Tate. I have a feeling that they just got stuck in the ominous woods. They do that sometimes. Don't be too alarmed. They'll be okay. All right, let me get those. And, uh, stuffed full inventory. All right, there we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And none of that from you, please. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, why not? Alright, so here's our mountain lion cub. And those trees will grow in just a little bit. It's a very rough shod, and actually I can make it look a little nicer. Because the mountain lion cub won't be able to jump over that now that I think about it. Where is... come here you... oh never mind, that'll just destroy that. Alright, like I said, very very rough shod, not the prettiest enclosure whatsoever. Have to figure out why it's still jumping. Probably need to make it sit once with a whip and then that'll correct that. But I'm gonna go get Lily and Tate and resume the little bit of adventuring that we were doing. But there it is you guys! Our very first mountain lion! Very first mountain lion! Oh that's so exciting! Alright, gonna go find my dogs and continue exploring. I will see you guys later. Bye bye <laughs>